Ah. Yeah, we're gonna take a listen to the new Smile album today. I haven't listened to any of this besides the the one track. I actually have no concept of what this album will be like. I have seen them live. I saw them live uh, November of 2022. And, uh, and they played some unreleased songs, which I'm assuming will be on here. I made a new, I made a little reaction screen. Ah, ah, it's all right. So yeah, yeah, I want to get into this album. I really liked the first album. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Let's give this new one a, a shot. Let's see how, what it's like. Um, now I've heard the first song. We're going to listen to it anyways. Um, also, I'd like to mention really quick that most likely this video or this stream might have some issues with copyright stuff just because this is a new album and usually new albums have like a a thing on it for a little bit especially through youtube where it's probably just going to get removed um so yeah this will probably have to be like re-uploaded on my patreon which will be free to view um on the patreon but uh it'll be on there because vimeo doesn't give a shit really so uh, yeah, let's listen to this album. Now, I've heard this first song, um, and I like it. Really cool instrumentals. I like the slower little groove. Oh, I haven't listened to this song in a minute, though. I listened to it when it first came out. I don't think I really have sense, just because I was kind of waiting for the whole album to come out. I don't like listening to, uh, singles too much. It's like watching movie trailers. It kind of gives it away. I don't want to give it away. I want to listen to it all at once. <laughs> To you, Tom. I'm raising my glass to you. I think he's just trying to remember how to count. I think that's what he's doing, to be honest with you. Because sometimes, you know, I forget too. I forget, you know, I'm like... Two... Three... What's, what's Genius say about this? It's the opening track on the second album. It's accompanied by a music video directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. During the period after Radiohead's In Rainbows, there was speculation circulating that Radiohead might release an EP or album titled Wall of Ice after a leak circulated a song with the, a leak circulated with the song, these are my twisted words, had references to the phrase. After some promotional material, uh, blah, 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 incorporating the phrase as Wall of Eyes. Yeah, this is some, uh, some analysis of shit. Don't worry, guys. I'm doing a live analysis of a Wall of Eyes. <laughs> Teleharmonic. I love telephones. I like how mellow this is so far. Ooh. Ooh, that bass is fucking nasty. Give me that. I will never forget the comment that I saw about how this band is basically just Radiohead, but Tom and Johnny really wanted to play bass. <laughs> They were like, can we play bass, Colin? And Colin said, no. So they did their own thing. <laughs> I like that song a lot. It was very pretty. Very, very, um, hold on. Hold on. Don't get wild. Don't get wacky. Uh, very pretty. Very, very pretty song. Um, there's a lot of cool little moments there. A uh, little, like, uh, instrumental like changes and stuff like that during the chorus and stuff. I really like Tom's delivery for that little bridge part there. I don't know why it like hit my head that way, but it was it was really really cool. Um, I also just wanted to quickly uh, mention I love the fact that you know me has an exclamation point at the end of it in the title. That's great. <laughs> I don't know. You know me. You know me, I'm Tom, I'm Tomothy Yorkshire. That's me. Read the room, that's next up here. Let me pull that one up and then, uh, yeah, let's check this out. Okay, I like the guitar, that's goofy. It gives me, uh, it has that like kind of weird guitar stuff that was happening on like Thin Thing. Ooh, okay, Tom. He's got his, uh, his Ben's voice out. Dude, Tom really wants to count in this album. He loves counting. He's at a swear. Uh, yeah, that was cool. I like that song. <laughs> Explicit. Is it because he says shit? 
Is that it? He says shit, and so this song's explicit now? This is the only one on the album. It's explicit. What? That's wacky. Under our pillows. It's my DS. <laughs> That's what's under the pillow. It's my DS when my mom walks in the room at midnight. I'm trying to hide it. All right. Under our pillows. My DS. My Game Boy Advance before I lost it. So sad. Okay, no, this is Thin Thing. This is literally Thin Thing. It's like different, but it's... That's like the same pattern, right? That's the same... Yeah, no, this is Thin Thing. This is Thick Thing. I think I've liked Read the Room the most so far. But honestly, I really like the song so far, so... That's so cool. Wait, but there's still like a minute left in the song. What is he gonna do? Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. This is cool. I like this. This is really cool. I like these moments in songs so much. I love these kind of endings where it's just like crazy instrumental delay beep boop shit. Ah, oh, that was so cool though. That was really cool. I think that might be my favorite so far. Dude, every time that I listen to the song, the next one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we keep going at this rate. You know me is going to be my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really liking this album so far, to be honest. It's cool. It's got a lot of of interesting little concepts on it and stuff that's like revisiting from the previous Smile album um, that I'm liking a lot. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Songs are all kind of long. They're all over five minutes. Or, well, over four minutes. I guess this, this is the shortest track, and it's four and a half minutes. That's crazy. Usually I feel like they make, or at least Radiohead usually doesn't have that long of songs, I guess. I don't know. This is cute. This song's cute. I don't know what it is. It's got, like, a very summery vibe, honestly. Ooh, the strings are... That's so cool. Oh yeah. Edge me, edge me smile, Mr. York. Oh. That's the shit. Very pretty song. Um, honestly, being the shortest song, that felt longer to me than some of the other ones. Not that that's a bad thing. I really like that song. The song was written that day, bro. They, they whipped that shit out the minute they made it. They said, hey, this one kind of fucks. That's, I quit. <laughs> what a good title. Oh, like kill switchy shit going on? What? Weird delay. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's making my head vibrate. Oh, that's cool as fuck. The instrumentals are really cool. I like that weird echoey vibrate whatever's going on. What was that? <laughs> Whoa! Strings! Yeah, that was cool. That was so cool. I like that. One of only two songs on Wall of Eyes to not be heard live before its release. I Quit features skipping guitars and a softer voice from Tom to continue the album's tone of an unknown journey. Thank you, Rand. Banger alert! This is the only comment on this song. <laughs> <laughs> Banger alert! Thank you, Quan Quanbo. <laughs> what is this picture? <laughs> His only other th thing is on Kyle's Corey. <laughs> Bro, thank you. I am Quan and I am Boeing bonging all over the place. Thank you, Quanbo. <laughs> What a mysterious figure that is. That's my guy right there. <laughs> That's the only comment on this song right now. <laughs> it's just banger alert by Quanbo. Bending hectic. Eight minutes. This is a long one. Ooh. I like long songs. I'm a I'm a I'm a slut for long songs. <laughs> I like them. I like them a lot.
Let's listen to it. Bending hectic eight minutes and three seconds. This is stupid pretty. Holy shit. No, no, Tom's voice on this is so good. Really, really like his delivery. I love the guitar on this. Really, really love the guitar on this. I, I I'm gonna come. <laughs> and I'm. What? Distortion. Oh. Oh man. That's cool as shit. Oh my god. Dude, I'm ascending. What an ending. Oh. Jesus. I gotta stop and and contemplate my life after that. Holy shit, that was so cool. That was so good. What a cool ending. What a as soon as those strings kicked in, I knew it was gonna be crazy. Oh my god. The strings, the 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 distortion picking up there at the end. The drums, the drums at the end there were so good. Oh my god. Alright. Let's hear this next one. Uh or the last one. You know me. <laughs> Dude, why was the first thought I got Undertale? I just thought of the fucking oh. Town that's underwater? Is this a pyramid head reference? <laughs> or pyramid song? Fuck, why did I say pyramid? I'm thinking of Silent Hill out here. This is so pretty. That was so pretty. I just want to hear this again really quick. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ooh, shit, that's so cool. Bending hectic ending is sick as fuck. I, uh, yeah, I think it might be better than the first, honestly. I liked every song. There wasn't a single song that I didn't like. What are the comments on here? <laughs> Hold on, I want to I want to bring it back to our to our homie. Where's our homie at? Banger alert! I think bending bending hectic is my favorite. I think that ending was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I feel like this album does cement them more as more than just a side project because this album has like actual like I don't know depth to it. I feel like. I feel like the first album has a lot of really cool songs on it, but I feel like it connects less than this one does. This one feels like an like an album, like full through, whereas I feel like the first one was yeah, yeah, like a collection of songs rather than an like an album. Yeah. Like this one feels like it's like got a theme, it's got like a a vibe throughout that's like carried rather than it just being like here's never work in television again and then here's thin thing and here's you know here's a bunch of cool songs and the, the first album is great i love each of those songs but it does feel like less of a of here's an album and and more of like here's a collection of songs that we made um i quit bending hectic and you all and you know me i'll feel like they connect to one each yeah 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 i agree with that a lot it does feel more more cohesive. Quan Bo is Tom York hyping up his own song. He's a big look at he wrote like a whole ass thing about Kyle Scory over here. <laughs> and my wife mm, yes, death of a loved one's so funny. Shout out me and me for inviting I'm fucking <laughs> Quan Bo, what do you do? Have a nice life. Oh, bro. Never met <laughs> my iron Quan. Okay, is Quambo in here? Is Quambo in here? <laughs> Some. What he's talking about? Homosexual. What is this? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this 
is definitely Tom York. Yeah. So hard. Even though the love interest of the main character is a man instead of a girl, his penis is still erect or hard. <laughs> Thank you, Quanbo, for the <laughs> description. And this Dreams Remix Corn Kid Edition is a freestyle done by <laughs> Bro, what are... And then it's, and it's Radiohead. And it's like a real one. <laughs> this album was so good, though. I'm really... I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan. I think it was really cool. Stuff soon. Look forward to it. Adios, lads. I'll, I'll see you soon. Uh... Peace.